There are two types of forests, primary and secondary forests. A primary forest is a forest that is largely in its original state. It is home to native plant and tree species that have naturally grown since the beginning. An example is Bukatima Nature Reserve, Singapore's largest primary forest. Secondary forests are made up of regenerated forest areas that were previously cleared. They lack native trees and diversity in plant and wildlife species. Forests cover 31% of the world's land surface, and yet they continue to be lost at an alarming rate. Sustainable forestry plays a crucial role in addressing this issue. Sustainable forestry covers multiple aspects of forest conservation and protection of water resources. Conservation status of forests is an essential component of sustainable forestry. In Singapore, clear distinctions made between nature parks and nature reserves reinforce the importance of protecting the ecosystems in forest areas. Parks are man-made environments supporting a smaller diversity of species, while nature reserves are native environments that are home to diverse biodiversity. Under the Parks and Trees Act 2006, the status Nature Reserve grants legal protection and ensures the survival of many life forms native to Singapore. Caring for special sites is a crucial step in sustainable forestry. In 2021, NParks announced the Forest Restoration Action Plan, which aims to safeguard and enhance our forests. The Coastal Hill Forest in Labrador Nature Reserve is a rare and unique habitat in Singapore. It is home to plants that flourish on land adjacent to the sea and are tolerant of salt exposure and poor soil conditions. Part of the plan includes strengthening the ecological resilience of Labrador Nature Reserve to ensure its long-term survival. In addition, the restoration of a coastal beach forest in the Nature Reserve will provide a significant physical and ecological buffer for the coastal hill forest. The Sungai Bulo Wetland Reserve is a protected forest reserve in Singapore. It serves as a crucial stopover point for migratory birds. It is critical to ensure the long-term survival of this unique reserve so that migratory and residential bird species can always find a home. A healthy forest also yields many benefits such as attracting a variety of wild pollinators that enrich Singapore's ecosystem. It is critical to protect and conserve our native biodiversity by promoting sustainable forestry. Through sustainable forestry, future generations can enjoy its benefits and our native biodiversity can stand the test of time. <laughs>